years, five years. So today I have to talk about curve tracing. Now curve tracing for polar equations, for Cartesian equations, and for parametric equations. So first I will describe that what are the curve tracing, what is the curve tracing for Cartesian coordinates. Okay. So there are three cases we will take when parametric equations are given or polar equations are given or Cartesian equations are given. So these are the three topics we will discuss about in detail how to trace a curve or curve tracing is very important for the students for finding out the area, the volumes, etc. Okay, of in, in case of curve tracing. So curve tracing is very important for those students. Now let me take how curve tracing is done and what is the curve tracing means. When we draw a graph with the help or in the um, Cartesian with the help of Cartesian coordinates in two dimensional geometry or three dimensional geometry, then whatever the figure is obtained is known as curve tracing. But for curve tracing, there are certain uh, rules which we will discuss about. What are those rules? How to uh, trace a curve? Okay, appropriately, we have to find out some points. E even if we are just assuming or by just inspection, we cannot draw proper uh, okay. Uh, curve but that curve can be traced if we have found some points at the values of x and y okay so with the um, okay plotting of those one those values those coordinates of x and y we can trace a proper curve but so far as a lot of other points are there we will discuss about them let me note down some rules which are very important for curve tracing okay, so let me take one by one what is curve tracing we we'll talk about Curve tracing, now today I am taking Cartesian coordinates, but curve tracing is, is done for the following for the following cases. Number one, when Cartesian equations are given. Cartesian equations are given, equations are given, for that we can trace a curve, so what is the curve tracing in case of Cartesian coordinates, second can be curve tracing for polar equations, for polar equations we will discuss about them one by one, but First time taking Cartesian equations, and then third is curve tracing for parametric equations. Let me first define them. What are all these parametric equations? In case of Cartesian equations, number one, that we will discuss today. But what are the polar polar equations let me talk about so or let me take first one in case of Cartesian first one in Cartesian coordinates as we know in Cartesian coordinates as we know that coordinates are given that coordinates are given in terms of x and y in terms of x and y x and y are the Cartesian coordinates so whenever the equation of a curve is given in terms of x and y that means they are, that is a Cartesian coordinates okay second point polar coordinates in case of polar coordinates case of polar coordinates polar coordinates okay the curve is given the curve is given in terms of given in terms of r and theta in terms of r and theta for instance let me take r square equal to a square cos 2 theta let me take okay and second can be r square equal to a square into sine n or let me take r n here it is r is power n equal to a n a n into sine n theta etc 
Here now, polar coordinates, polar uh, equations are given. So we have to draw these kind of equations. So that we will discuss when we discuss about polar coordinates, okay? Or polar equations. Now, third one is parametric equations. What are the parametric equations? Let me discuss about them. Parametric equations. What are the parametric equations? If the Cartesian coordinates x and y are expressed in terms of third variable, let me take x equal to a sin t, y equal to uh, or x equal to a cos t and y equal to a sin t suppose. Okay, so that may be there. In case of parametric equations, when equations are expressed, when equations are expressed are expressed as x equal to let me take a sin theta theta may be there a sin theta a sin phi a sin t whatever theta is the parameter parameter here or x equal to a cos theta let me take x equal to a let me take cos phi no problem and a sin phi where phi is the parameter so they are known as parametric equations so we will describe them when case of tracing in case of parametric equations so curve tracing in case of parametric equations when the two variables x and phi okay, are expressed in terms of the third variable in this case it is a phi it may be t it may be theta any other, any other third variable okay s or t or whatever u okay so a number of third variables can be taken okay only one variable third variable is expressed here or x and y are expressed in third variable here it is phi we can take theta we can take t we can take s or u or v whatever okay this is how parametric equations are there so these equations are i mean different kind of possibility are there so we will discuss about them about the process of curve tracing let me discuss that now Process of curve tracing or rules for curve tracing. What the process in this case? Let me discuss about that. Okay, so there are certain rules which let me discuss about. Then we will take these questions which are uh, which are taken student, from the students' queries, which are very important questions, and they will clarify how to trace the curve. Different tracing of the curve. So there are taken 19 questions here. Further, I'll discuss in the next lecture series also some more curve tracing, further curve tracing, so that every point is clear, okay, so how to describe the asymptotes and all those things that we discuss. Now let me <coughs> take the rules of curve tracing, so curve tracing rules or rules for curve tracing, rules for curve tracing. First and foremost thing we Think about what is symmetry. Symmetry of a curve. What is symmetry of a curve? Let me discuss about this. The first and foremost thing, let me take a point here. No problem. If the equations given, Cartesian equations are given, and in that curve, uh, equation of the curve, if it is expressed in terms of x and y, suppose. And y is an even term. Okay. If the powers of let me take, if the powers or indices, if the powers of x, let me take first y. Okay. <coughs> let me take y. If the powers of y, okay, are even, are even, if all the powers let me take, if all the powers of y are even occurring in the occurring in the equation of the curve equation of the curve then the curve will be symmetric then curve will be symmetric very important point here and the curve will be symmetric to axis of x to the 
axis of x. What does it mean? For instance, let me take instance here. Let y equal to 4ax. Now this equation is having y in even terms. y power is 2, which is even number. y, all the powers of y are even. Okay, we are not talking about x powers. This equation will be, I mean, this curve will be symmetric to x axis, or it will be similar in both the uh, directions, or sorry, on both sides of the x axis. Okay, so this is how let me draw this curve here. Or oh, this will pass through the origin that we will discuss like, like this. This is the parabolic equation, this is a parabola, and this this symmetric to the axis of x. Okay, this is this means symmetric. Symmetric means it has similar uh, okay face or similar shape or uh, on both sides of the x. I mean on above and below the x axis. Similar shape above and below the x axis. This is how this is known as symmetric. So if by by square is there or by is even powers. But x is not even power. Sorry, in this case. So this equation, this curve will be symmetric to the axis of x. Okay. Second case B. If all the powers of x are even occurring in the Occurring in the sorry, equation, in the equation of the curve, occurring in the equation of the curve given of the given curve or cover curve given. Okay, if the in the given curve equation of the curve, we have, we find that all the powers of x are even. We are not talking about y here. All the powers of x are even occurring in the equation of the curve given then the curve will be symmetric will be symmetric here the inspection points or just observation points we we'll just observe the figure and we, we can imagine that okay this kind of figure will be okay this kind of shape of the curve will be there so this is how for just inspection rules are there. Okay, it will be symmetric to axis of y to the axis of y. Okay, for instance, let me take x square equal to 4a by. Yeah, I've taken 4a by or 4b by, it doesn't matter. 4a by. This, this is symmetric to y axis. Okay, this is suppose x axis. Sorry, this is origin x des by and by des. So what about this figure? This will be symmetric to but x is having both positive and negative values. X positive value of x will be to this side, y will be this side, and y will be positive. We are taken here, so this will be figure like this. Okay, symmetric to the axis of y here. This this parabola is parabolic equation. We see here that x is having even powers. Okay, this is how we can describe them. So this this figure will be symmetric to the axis of y. Axis of y it will be symmetric here because x is having even powers of the in the equation given. Here y was having uh, okay say uh, uh, even powers. So this is how the the two possibilities are there. Let me take the third one, fourth one, and fifth one about the symmetry. Now, the third point, in case of symmetric equations of symmetry, let me talk about that also. Okay, so in case of symmetry of the curve, let me talk about next question, uh, next point here. Okay, now third point, let me take C point here. If both the powers of x and y are even, if 
all the powers of x and y are even are even occurring in the occurring in the given equation in the equation of the curve given of the curve given then the curve will be symmetric to both the axes okay then the curve will be symmetric will be symmetric to both the axes both the axes of x and y both the axis of x and y okay this is let me take instance for for instance here x square upon a square y square upon b square is equal to 1 which we know this is equation of the ellipse here now here this is symmetric to both the axis this is x axis x dash origin y and y dash axis you know that this is the elliptical figure or ellipse this is the ellipse here which is symmetric to both x axis x axis and y axis also okay in both the sides of y we are having similar figure of the curve here okay so this is ellipse here in this case y power x powers are all even even powers of both x and y are given if all the powers of x and y are even occurring in the equation of the curve given the curve will be symmetric to both the axis of x and y okay so this is the third point here see we have taken the third point c here now what about fourth point let me talk about other point now d point let me take point number four for d if by interchanging interchanging x and y okay to each other or replacing x y by and y by x okay to each other or putting x equal to y and y equal to x in the given equation of the curve in the given equation of the curve then the curve will be symmetric to okay then the curve will be symmetric or symmetrical will be symmetrical to the line y equal to x okay and this line is lying at 45 degree angle with the axis of x so if i draw this line so this is the line here okay. this is the line here which is lying at 45 degree angle okay with the axis of x so what is it by y dash and this is x dash here so this is y equal to x if we are replacing x by y and y by x and there is no change in the equation given and the given equation in the given equation then and there is no change in the given equation i'm sorry i'll write here putting x equal to y and y equal to x in the given equation and uh, there is no change in the equation given and if there is no change in the equation given then the curve will be symmetric to this and there is and there is no change in the equation in the equation of the curve okay then the curve will be symmetric to the line y equal to s then the curve will be symmetric will be symmetric to the straight line 
the straight line y equal to x. This is the y equal to x line which is passing through the horizon, okay, and lying at 45 degree angle with the axis of x. This is how this equation will be there. This is fourth point. Now let me talk about fifth point. What the fifth point here? If if we put sorry, if we put x equal to minus x and y equal to minus y and the equation remains unchanged remains unchanged remains unchanged then the curve will be symmetric to the curve will be symmetric to uh, both the opposite quad, uh, quadrants we may say will be symmetric to opposite quadrants opposite quadrant opposite quadrants okay this is what now if i take some instances here okay if we are changing let y equal to sin x here okay if i put y equal to minus y and x equal to minus x if we negative negative sign cancel out the y by the remain same this equation will be symmetric to approach quadrants okay so if put y equal to minus minus y this is equal to sine minus x no change because this is minus sin x minus minus cancel out still it is y equal to sin x no change this is what we mean here so this this equation will be symmetric to opposite quadrants here or in the opposite quadrants maybe in the first and third or second and fourth this is how opposite quadrants are there here are the five points we have discussed about in case of symmetry okay so symmetric points we have taken now let me talk about origin and tangents second point let me talk about second point here origin and tangents and tangents at the origin origin and tangents at the origin and second point is that if the curve is passing through the origin or not passing through the origin let me talk about that if if there is no constant term there is no constant term in the equation of the curve in the given equation in the given equation then constant term is not there if there is no constant term in the given equation then the curve will pass through the curve will pass through the origin zero zero pass through the origin pass through the origin zero zero okay this is how we can just imagine about uh, for an instance let me talk about this is x square plus y square equal to let me take a square the equation of a circle this equation is not passing through the origin okay now if i take here x by then it will pass through the origin for x y let me take okay now this equation is not having any constant term so this will pass through the origin but if i take x square plus y square equal to a square it is having a constant term a square with this circle will be will not pass through the origin it will be like this we have x equal to a here or radius is a it is radius a 
or let me take A here. So this is a circle, equation of circle. This is not passing to the origin, but this will pass to the origin. The curve will pass to the origin if there is no constant term given in the given equation. Now in this case, constant term A square is given, but so this will not pass to the origin. Origin is here. So it is not passing to the origin, but this is passing to the origin. I mean, this, this will pass to the origin, but this is not passing to the origin. Okay, so we can draw this simply. That will pass to the origin. We will just find out. So this is the process of how we have to find out the origin. Curve is passing to the origin. Then we have to find the tangents upon that. The tangents given upon that origin are two. Then it will be a double point. We have described that what is the singular multiple points and of points of inflection in the previous lecture series. We discussed about inflection point, double points or multiple points in detail. Okay. So if there, if two tangents are given upon the given uh, this, then we will have that. What is the quality of that? So let me, <coughs> if the tangents given in this case, if the tangents at the origin. In this case, origin is zero zero. But sometimes we shift the origin to a given point. We find out the point in the given curve. And if the tangents at the given origin are two, then the double point will be there. Then there will be a double point. And we have to we have to check whether the equation of tangents, the equation of tangents are coincident. Okay, distinct or imaginary or imaginary. Okay, so according to this, if they are coincident, cusp will the double point will be a cusp. If there are distinct tangents are given, two dis two tangents are distinct, but there are two different values. How to handle tangents here? We equate the uh, lowest degree terms, okay, or term or terms in the given equation to zero. We will find out the equation of the tangents there and those tangents if are obtained, they are similar type of equation of tangents. Okay, coincident tangents are there. Then there will be a cusp. If there are distinct or different type of two tangents are obtained, then node will be there. If they are imaginary, no tangent equation of the tangent is obtained, it cannot be obtained. This is non-real or imaginary, then a uh, isolated point or we can say we say conjugate point will be obtained. So double point will be a conjugate point or isolation isolated point. This is what we have discussed in the previous lecture series, but this is also we have to discuss here because curve tracing will be easier than we can understand that how the this is there. Okay, then third point let me talk about I have included here this uh, okay node, the type of node etc. also. This may be third point here. First we by we found out the origin, this passing to the origin or not. If the constant term is there, then the curve will pass to the okay, constant term is not there, not there, then it will pass to the origin. If it is having constant term, then the then it will not pass to the origin. Okay, so this is this point here. Constant term. And then third point we talked about. Okay, if the origin is a double point, that means we have found two tangents upon the given given origin or given point. Okay, and how do we find out that? And that that is the point here that we described that uh, the tangents at the origin are two. Then there will be a double point of this quality of the double point here, the origin here. Now we have to find out uh, the values of x and y. Now we solve the equation of the curve, the 
the equation of the curve for x and y whichever is easy whichever is easy to solve okay suppose we find value of y suppose we find or we express y equal to something let me take here a x square plus plus uh, twice x or something so this kind of equation is there so if we are easily finding out value of y in terms of x we can solve that equation okay or if x is to be uh, calculated easily in terms of y that can also be done now here we have to find out that what is the the solution is given whether this value is possible uh, as x increases okay then what the value of y y is decreasing or increasing or is going to extend to infinity when x increases what the value of y here okay so that we will discuss about so in that case this that situation we have to find out the value of x and y and for what value of x and y so value of x or y the other variable is not defined okay uh, so we have under the range okay so in this case we have to find the range we have to find we have to find the range the range of the values of the values for which for which the variable is not defined the variable is not defined there are certain ranges of values for example a to b there are certain limits so in that period i mean that uh, range for which the equation is not defined or we say that y is imaginary okay y cannot be solved for that value y is infinite here in that situation the curve will not be defined during that range of the value so which variable is not defined or which variable is not defined then the curve will not be possible will not be possible 